Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our News Watch unit for the month of September. And、uh, also, it just happens to be our all English unit,、mm -hmm. so we've got、uh, a double whammy for you today. We've got two <laughs> different kinds of units here: News Watch and our all English unit. So, of course, we're not going to be listening to our Chinese teacher today. The Chinese teacher wanted to have the day off, so we chose to have our all English unit on today. Cool. We're going to be talking about two different stories. One has to do with、uh, pet identification or pet ID. They're、uh, turning to nose prints. With people, it's usually fingerprints, right?、Uh, but here,、uh, I didn't realize this, but dogs have different noses, so、mm. they can actually identify、uh, different dogs by their nose. And then we've got another.、Uh, Actually, it's another kind of science story. These are both very scientific discoveries. Is they're trying to improve these elderly king penguins and their vision.、Um, even animals have a decrease、uh, in their vision and their capability to see things. I know my dog before he died. Um, he died of cancer, but before he died, he went blind.、Mm. So,、um, if your pet lives、uh, quite a few years and has a long life, they start、uh, deteriorating just like human bodies do. Yep. If you see old dogs, of course, sometimes their eyes are kind of milky. You know,、yeah. uh, that means they have cataracts in there, and、mm -hmm. people get those as well.、Mm -hmm. And sometimes they can be removed. Sometimes they can't. But、uh, penguins—that's a tragic story if they can't see, especially if they're at A zoo, and they can't、uh, function properly. So they figured、yeah. out a way to take、uh, care of their eyes, so the penguins can be happy, and the people going there to look at them can be happy too. So let's get to it, everybody. Let's listen to these two news stories, and we'll be right back. Revolutionizing pet identification with nose prints. South Korean company Isai Lab Corporation has developed Anna Puppy. An app that utilizes a biometric recognition tool to identify dogs by their unique nose prints. This innovative technology aims to facilitate pet registration and increase owner accountability in South Korea, where only 38% of 6 million pet dogs are currently registered. Anna Puppy employs a 3D biometric algorithm based on AI and deep learning. Allowing users to take pictures of their dog's nose pattern for identification ID purposes, with a reported 99.9% accuracy rate, the system enables quick communication between lost dogs finders and their owners. The painless and efficient nature of the nose ID solution offers a significant advantage over traditional methods. Pet owners often find these traditional methods troublesome and worry about potential health risks. Since 2019. Isai Lab has been collaborating with the South Korean government to develop and test the nose ID technology, which it hopes to complete by 2024. The company plans to charge around 450 NT dollars per dog and anticipates future applications for other animals such as cats, cows, and deer. Custom-made lenses improve elderly king penguins' vision. Three elderly king penguins at Singapore's Jurong Bird Park went through pioneering cataract surgeries and received custom-made contact lenses to improve their vision. The successful operations took place this January, and the penguins have fully recovered. The penguins, aged 20 and older, were treated for this common age-related eye condition. Which causes cloudy vision and other problems. The lenses had been precisely measured to fit each penguin's eyes perfectly. Veterinary eye doctor Gladys Boo, who participated in the surgeries, acknowledged the achievement as a milestone in veterinary medicine. The surgeries had to be conducted with great delicacy, especially because the operations. Were complicated by certain unique characteristics of penguin eyes, one of which is the third eyelid. This protects the eyes underwater, but tends to stay closed under surgery. Despite these obstacles, the surgeries proved to be a great success. This has been demonstrated by an increase in responsiveness and activity levels in the penguins 
since their surgery. Okay, everybody. Let's begin by explaining the first news story: revolutionizing pet identification with nose prints. Okay, so here we've got the word to revolutionize, and that just means to change something in a big way.、Uh, it、uh, changes things that were done a certain way in the past, and now they're making a big change. And usually, it's for the better.、Uh, maybe、uh, Steve Jobs revolutionized the computer industry by、uh, inventing the Mac computer.、He、It was、did. a big change, and、mm. after that, computers weren't the same again. Well, then he revolutionized the world again with the iPod、mm. and the smartphone. I remember when、uh, those came out—the iPhone, the iPod. Those were big. Uh, revolutionary changes in technology.、Uh, I remember sitting by someone who、uh, had one of the first iPhones and thinking, "Oh wow, he's just touching that screen and kind of swiping."、Mm. It was weird. I'd never seen it before or heard of it、uh, up until that point. He was、uh, working. Um, at Apple, and I just happened to have a seat by him on a plane. Well, we're talking about some revolutionizing of pet identification.、Um, you probably realize this by now, but foreigners we don't like to use long words when a short or a shorter word will do, and that's ID. So、uh, we would typically just say pet ID, and they're using the nose prints of dogs to kind of keep track of them. You could say. Exactly. So to identify is the verb, which means to just tell who somebody is.、Mm -hmm. And in this case,、uh, we want to know whose dog it is that just、uh, strolled into our neighborhood. We want to help this dog go back home,、mm -hmm. and so you need some pet identification. And in this particular case, they're using nose prints. I suppose that means that the dog's nose, which is usually wet. And、uh, it uses it to sniff around.、Uh, has different patterns in it, just like the human iris has different patterns in it. And sometimes、uh, our eyes are used as identification, just like our fingerprints. I guess here it's more convenient to use the noses of dogs instead of their paw prints or whatever. Yeah, I'm curious、uh, why they didn't use eyes as well, like、uh, they're trying to do with folks or people. So identification is definitely one of our vocabulary words. And it is the noun form, as Tom said, of identify, which is the verb form, or you could just say ID. Do you have any ID with you?、Uh, maybe you have been.、Uh, we also will use the phrase carded. If you go to a store and try to buy liquor or cigarettes, especially in the U.S.,、uh, you will ask. Well, you will be asked for ID. Or if you go to a bar, sometimes the people at the door will think you're too young looking. So you'll get carded.、Um, that's kind of a slang way, just to say the last to see your ID.、Uh, they want to have proof that you're old enough to to buy what you want to buy or to go in to a place that serves liquor or alcohol, which kids are not allowed to drink in the U.S. If they're, I think you have to be 18. Is that right? 18.、Uh, no, it's 21. Pretty、oh. much all over the country now. It was 18 a long time ago,、huh. but they changed it to a higher age. And so now, of course, lots of college students are not old enough to buy beer or wine or something, and they can't party. So that's a problem. Oh, they do though. They get fake IDs. Right. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> fake IDs are very common、mm. in、uh, the United States.、Uh, the U.S. has more of a culture of people buying alcohol and partying and getting drunk and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, not good. You don't really see it so much here in Taiwan.、Mm. Uh, you, you guys drink、uh, in more formal situations, like when you're entertaining guests or something like that. Right. Then. You'll drink, but、uh, you don't buy beer to go out with your friends and get drunk. Or I could be wrong on that. I think but, sometimes the guys do. <laughs> it could be indeed. <laughs> I'm not、that. young enough to really know what、mm. they're doing. But in any case, we're not really talking about that. We're talking about、mm -hmm. pet identification with nose prints. And we've got a Korean company, a South Korean company called Isai Lab, Isai Lab Corporation. This company has developed. And a puppy, an app that utilizes a biometric recognition tool to identify dogs by their unique nose prints. So, if you have dogs, take a look at their noses, and you can probably tell. Oh, every dog's nose is different; it's unique.、Huh. So, therefore, if a dog,、uh, you know, sniffs a piece of paper or something like that, or you can put some ink on the dog's nose, and then、uh, you touch the dog's nose to a piece of paper, then you will have a nose print, and it will be unique to that dog. 
Right, we're using this word biometric. It refers to、um, biological data. It could be a fingerprint. It could be your iris and your eye for humans. It could be your blood. It could be your DNA. It could be any of those things. It used to be that if you had committed a crime, that was the only time、uh, a government. Or a police force could collect biometric data. Now people are giving up their biometric data so easily.、Uh, maybe you have a, a company where you have to use a scanner, eye,、mm. eye scanner to get in, or your thumbprint, or、um, maybe you have an iPhone and you've given them、uh, some sort of biometric data. Be careful with that; it may come back to haunt you. So this is an innovative technology, brand new. That's why we're calling it revolutionary, or that it's revolutionizing pet ID.、Um, we don't have to,、uh, by law, we don't have to ID our pets in the United States.、Uh, you can have a pet and not have to register. But obviously, in South Korea, they want to keep track of the pets there. There's accountability, so you have to register.、Um, here we have this word facilitate. To facilitate something is just to make something easier to do. Sometimes you'll go to maybe a business meeting, and there will be a facilitator who helps direct or conduct a conversation or some sort of learning that, that you're going through. Here we're talking about registration of your pet. Right to make it easier and to have pet registration easier.、Uh, that's what this、uh, app is aiming to do. A registration is the process of registering something. You enter your name or something into a database and some other information that they can use in the future.、Uh, for example, if you uh, uh, are going to university of Uh, you need to register for your classes. True,、yeah. You need to go through registration in order to take the classes that you want. And yes, indeed, this is their goal to facilitate pet regist- registration, to make it easier to register your pets, and also to increase owner accountability in South Korea. Where only 38 percent of six million pet dogs are currently registered, so accountability, of course, is when you're accountable or responsible for something. And I guess a lot of、uh, people in South Korea and in other countries just kind of let their dogs run wild or something like that. So if we can identify the dogs, we know who they belong to. Right.、Um, maybe they have the same problem that、uh, other countries have, and that is where owners get tired of taking care of a pet. So they drive that dog or cat、uh, to some faraway place and try to leave it there, and then drive away. And that poor pet doesn't have anybody to take care of it, which is horrible.、Um, but they do have about forty percent. It says here of the six million、uh, pet dogs that are currently. Um, registered, so they're trying to get a hundred percent. I don't know, a hundred percent utilization rate. They want everybody to use this, and they think, oh, if we have this really,、um, you know. F-、uh, Easy app to use the Yana Puppy. Everybody's going to do it.、Um, I still think there are going to be people who don't want to, but this is how it works. So the Yana Puppy, the app, employs or uses. That's another verb we use instead of use. It uses a 3D biometric algorithm. That's a mathematical、uh, calculation that's based on AI and deep learning. So this particular app will keep developing. And become more and more useful, more and more accurate,、uh, because with AI that we found that's what happens, and it allows users or pet owners to take pictures of their dog's nose pattern for ID purposes. So,、um, like we mentioned before, I had no idea that dogs. Dogs' noses were all very different. In fact, they're unique. You could say if they're unique, there's only one of that particular kind around. So they would take a picture of their dog's nose, and then that Anna Puppy、um, app has the ability, the technology, to register that particular pattern using the owner's name. Exactly. Okay, so they're using this for identification purposes. They're using AI and an algorithm, 
and with a reported 99% accuracy rate, the system enables quick communication between lost dogs' finders and their owners. So yes, this is very accurate. So all dogs have unique noses. This is a good idea here, and it's very, very accurate. Of course, sometimes there are mistakes made, but in this particular case, it's highly accurate, almost 100% here. Pretty good, huh? And it enables or it allows quick communication between those lost dogs' finders, the people who find the dog. Oh, puppy, what are you doing in our neighborhood? You look、mm-hmm. like you're lost. Well, I'll just、uh, contact.、Uh, the, I'll use this app here and to take a picture of your nose, and it should be able. To tell me who your owner is, and I can return you to your owner. Well, one of the good things about this app is that it's painless. It doesn't hurt your pet, and it doesn't hurt the owner. It's also efficient. It's a good use of time. It doesn't. It doesn't require a lot of effort to get your dog registered. And、uh, the nose ID solution or answer to the problem offers a significant advantage over traditional methods. I would say traditional methods are usually those、um, of putting a chip in your dog,、mm. which is kind of creepy to me.、Uh, you know, they want to chip human beings, so beware of that. But also, just dog collars. Sometimes owners will、um, give their their dog a cute name. That's what we did, and we had a little dog collar on our dog, and it had. The dog's name, of course, and our phone number, so that you could reach the owner should、um, our dog Maverick run away and not come home. But he would run just for fun, and then he'd always come home in time for dinner. That was our dog. But、uh, yeah, those are the traditional methods.、Um, I know you had. Uh, cats? Did you have a dog, Tom? I can't remember.、Uh, when I was a kid, yes, we had a dog. It was a Basenji. His name was Fred, and、uh, we had him with a dog tag that also said that he had a rabies vaccination. Oh, huh. In case he、Good. bit somebody, and they were concerned about that.、Oh. So that is one way to register your dog、uh-huh. to give it、uh, dog tags. Right. And then you register it locally、uh, with the authorities, and your dog should be able to be located if you lose the dog. Right. So yes, indeed, in this particular case, we've got the problem of only. Thirty-eight percent of dogs in Korea as being registered. So that's a problem if you come across a stray dog, and it doesn't have any kind of identification. You have no idea who the owner is. You can probably put posters around the neighborhood.、Mm-hmm. Found dog.、Right. Is this your dog? Call us, and we'll give him back to you, etc. But if the government finds your dog, if they're like other countries, they'll take your dog to a dog pound. Oh no! And if it's not. Recovered or collected within a couple of weeks, they put that dog down, which means they kill it. So it is good to have some sort of ID on your pet if you want to get your pet back. And in the old days, of course, sometimes they actually ate the dogs. It kind of depends on where you are, but I don't. I don't think people are eating. <laughs> Maybe dog Hong meat. Kong, yeah. <laughs>、uh, perhaps, yeah. They eat anything there. But in any case, that brings us to the midway point in our lesson for today. Let's stop and take a break and listen to our Chinese teacher. Not because remember, it's our all English lecture today. Welcome back, guys. It's our all English unit. It's also our news watch, and we're talking about two、um, stories, news stories that have to do with science, developments in science、uh, that are being tried out on pets. First was the dog.、Uh, they've got a new、uh, app called Anna Puppy that uses biometric、uh, recognition tools to identify dogs. They use their nose prints, not their paw prints, or maybe even their irises in their eyes. They use their nose prints to identify dogs. And the South Korean government really wants to have most of these pet owners owners get on board and participate in this.、Uh, they don't have all of their pets registered. I guess that's a law, perhaps in South Korea.、Um, we don't have that law currently in the U.S. I don't know about Taiwan actually. If you have to register your pets, that、mm. seems kind of.、Um, 
uh, kind of uh, a, a big.、Um, well, I don't know. The government has enough information on us. That's all I'm going to say. They they need to know our pets too. So it helps pet owners. It facilitates the registration of their dogs. If you lose your pet, sometimes、um, you don't know where to look for them or how to find them. So this could help recover some of those lost pets. Now we left off right before we were talking about how pet owners often used to use tr- traditional methods、um, to to register their pets or to、um, get pet dog collars and stuff like that, and. Um, it was kind of troublesome. Troublesome just means, yeah, it's a mafia. Oh, we're not supposed to speak Chinese. Yeah, it's easier it's to just, explain it that way, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I love that word in Chinese.、Um, it's just kind of a you know a bother.、Uh, it's a hassle. Those are the words we'd use in English. Oh, what a hassle! Ah, I hate this stuff.、Um, but now they've made this app that's very convenient. You just take a picture of a dog's nose, your pet's nose, of course, and then it helps you register that way. I、um, mean, you don't have to worry if your dog runs off, perhaps without、uh, leaving you any clues as to where he or she went. Okay, now here in the next paragraph it says, since 2019,、mm. about、uh, what four years ago, iSci Lab has been collaborating with the South Korean government to develop and test the nose ID technology, which it hopes to complete by 2024. So in this sentence, we have the word to collaborate. That just means they work together. I could say, for example, the Japanese car company and the American car company are collaborating to develop a new model of car. You sure could. So you collaborate with your classmates if you're working on the same project together, or at work you might have some coworkers or colleagues that you combine your、uh, your teams together, your forces together, and complete something. You're collaborating. Artists will often collaborate or work together with others. So they collaborated with the government in South Korea to develop and test the nose ID technology, and they hope to have it. Finished by 2024. Now the company plans to charge around 450 NT dollars per dog, and anticipates future applications for other animals such as cats, cows, and deer.、Uh, I know they're trying in America to get us to register our farm animals now. Uh oh. Yeah. No thanks. Thanks. We'll just keep our farm animals to ourselves.、Um, it's not a bad price, I think, if you're worried about your little,、uh, your little, especially the little dog. Dogs that tend to to not know how to get back home. The big dogs seem to find their way home.、Uh, it's not a bad price if you anticipate something. You're looking forward to something.、Uh, maybe you're looking forward to something、um, that you're excited about,、uh, or maybe you're just expecting a certain result.、Uh, maybe you anticipate having problems. Uh, registering something,、uh, so anticipate just means you expect or predict that something's going to happen in the future. Okay, so this might come to Taiwan someday. Who knows? And now let's move on now to the second news story. The title is "Custom-Made Lenses Improve Elderly King Penguins' Vision." Of course, we've got different kinds of penguins. This is a king penguin, yeah, and it's elderly, or at least they have more than one there. Elderly penguins there. That just means they're old. They're getting toward the end of their lives, and they're probably having trouble seeing. So we've got some lenses、uh, put into their eyes that help them see better. This does happen with humans, of course. Sometimes you can have laser surgery to improve your vision, so you don't have to wear glasses anymore, or to get rid of cataracts or whatever.、Uh, this is an option for. People and now it's an option for penguins. Wow! So here we've got、uh, this new science、uh, technique that's being used in Singapore's Jurong Bird Park. And here we've got to go through something. If you go through something,、um, you experience it yourself. You can go through a wonderful learning experience.、Um, if you have a good mentor or a good school that you belong to, you are、uh, registered and are taking classes at. You can go through a bad experience.、Uh, maybe you've、um, lost your job and you had to go through a really difficult time trying to get a new job. So to go through is Kind of、um, neutral, so you can go through good things and bad things. It just depends on what you're going through. 
And they,、uh, of course, they're going through pioneering cataract surgeries.、Mm -hmm. uh, to pioneer、uh, means to do something new that somebody else hasn't done before. Right. And of course, cataracts are those things in your eyes that make them look white and you can't see very well. And of course, they have received custom-made contact lenses to improve their vision.、Uh, they're custom-made, which means they are designed to fit each. Specific penguin. Yeah.、Uh, they're not a one size fits all deal.、Mm -hmm. And the successful operations took place this January, and the penguins have fully recovered. So they had their surgery on their eyes, and now they're back to normal. I had no idea, Tom, that penguins lived this long. They outlived our dog. So these penguins were aged. Twenty and older. Wow, they have a long life for animals.、Uh, they were treated for this common age-related eye condition. Tom described it before. It kind of looks like you have a milky film over your eye. My mom had to have cataract surgery. I remember, and it got to the point where she couldn't read very well. But after she had the cataract surgery, her vision improved a lot. So I'm sure these birds, you know, it, they couldn't express to the veterinarian what was wrong. But usually with cataracts on eyes, you can see that there's a problem with their vision.、Uh, Uh, look into the eyes of elderly people or elderly pets, and you can see that milky, filmy、uh, coating over their lens, and that's called cataracts. So these lenses had been precisely measured. A、uh, precise just means very accurately, and then they were fit into the penguins' eyes perfectly, but they used surgery to do it. Okay, moving on to the next paragraph here. It says, "Veterinary eye doctor Gladys Boo, who participated in the surgeries, acknowledged the achievement as a milestone in veterinary medicine." So, veterinary or veterinary, veterinary it's kind of hard to say,、yeah. has to do with a veterinarian, which is a person or a doctor who takes care of animals.、Mm -hmm. So, this is the adjective form.、Uh, she's a veterinary eye doctor, and she says, "Hey, this is revolutionary. It's a milestone." In veterinary medicine, and the surgeries had to be conducted with great delicacy. They had to be really, really careful, especially because the operations were complicated by certain unique characteristics of penguin eyes. One of which is the third eyelid. Now, a characteristic, of course, is something that makes something special or unique. Of course, we all have different characteristics, or people have different personalities. So they'll have different characteristics in their personality. Maybe they're bubbly, they're outgoing, etc. They're gregarious. They like to make friends with people. That could be a characteristic of a very friendly person. But of course,、uh, the penguins have unique eyes. And of course,、uh, they have this third eyelid, which most people don't have. The eyelid, of course, covers your eye. Every time we blink,、uh, our eyelid comes down and moves some、uh, liquid around, so our eyes don't dry out. That's right. Now it was、um, acknowledged as being a milestone. If something's a milestone, you'll often hear this word used at work in English on projects. So if you have a milestone that you've achieved, you've、uh, achieved some sort of action or completed some sort of action or event, and that's a big, big change or stage in the development of something. You'll have lots of milestones in your life as、uh, in your lives as well. So yeah, they had to perform a. Very Very delicate surgery. You have to be very careful with eyes.、Um, and like Tom said,、um, these operations were complicated because these、uh, cute penguins have very special, unique characteristics.、Uh, their eyes are very unique. They have a third eyelid,、uh, which protects the eyes underwater. But tends to if something tends to do something, it usually is that way. It tends to stay closed. Under surgery, so、uh, Doctor Boo definitely had some obstacles, some challenges to overcome, and the surgeries proved here to be a great success. So、uh, you could say that she definitely、um, felt happy about the results of those surgeries. 
And this has been demonstrated by an increase in responsiveness and activity levels in the penguins since their surgery. So, of course, they've increased their responsiveness,、mm. which、uh, refers to the degree to which something is responsive,、uh, which means if you say hello, they'll say hello back or something, or if you give them food, they'll eat it, etc. They respond to whatever you do.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, yes, indeed, they've got、uh, some great responsiveness. That means they can see better. They can see what's going on. Around them, and maybe they get in fights with the other penguins more easily. <laughs> whereas in the past, they kind of ignored them because they couldn't really see them. Yeah, so they're just getting more involved in their lives.、Uh, they'd probably kind of given up because they couldn't see so much.、Uh, that's it for today, guys. A couple of really interesting science、uh, news stories. We hope you'll join us for our next program. But for now, we got to say go goodbye.、Uh, thanks for joining us for English Digest. I'm Stephanie. I'm Tom. Goodbye. See ya.